this brief video, I will present a brief overview of the general principles of hernia repair. These are applicable to any hernia. Each hernia is different and will have its own caveats. So once you, once a patient has discovered that he has hernia, you will then be seen by the general practitioner and moving on to the surgical team. And once thought to be a reasonable candidate, will undergo a preoperative assessment. Now there are three groups of patients, which are diabetics, smokers, and those who are overweight, who don't do too well, especially for complex hernia repair. Moving on to the next part is the anesthetic. So all hernia surgery will require some form of anesthesia. The commonest is the general anesthetic, which you see in the picture over here, uh, where a tube is placed into the, through the throat and into the airway. Um, for groin hernias, although local anesthetic is absolutely a reasonable choice as seen in the picture over here and that can be supplemented with some sedation. Uh, once the anesthetic is in place the surgeon will decide what route he chooses to do your operation through. That will depend both upon the type of hernia you have as well as the surgeon's choice. Uh, hernias can be repaired through the open method or through keyhole or a laparoscopic method. So let's assume this is the belly, this is the belly button. There's a hernia over here has come through a previous incision with a loop of bowel poking out. In the open approach, the surgeon will make an incision directly in this area, whereas in the keyhole, he will start somewhere a bit further away and make tiny cuts in your belly and put a camera inside and have a look and then do the operation from the inside. There is no right or wrong, there is no better or not better in, in this situation. Uh, these are both valid approaches for hernia repair. The first stage of any hernia repair begins with the surgeon dissecting out the sac in a controlled manner so that the sac is released from its surroundings as well as whatever is inside it, it's dropped back inside the abdomen so that what we are then left with are the two fresh edges of the surrounding tissue in general, the, mus the muscle. So all of the sac is removed and the contents are pushed back inside. So that's the first stage of any hernia repair. In complex hernias and, and hernias that have been there for a long time and there's a lot of adhesions, there is a risk of perforating the organs such as the bowel. Now that the surgeon has cleared the hernial sac and pushed it back, we are left with this sort of a picture. We are left with a defect in all hernias that was the original place through which the hernia came through. And now all, uh, all of that has been cleared out. So there are two main ways of repairing that. Suture repair, as you would expect. Uh, stitches to be inserted and pulling these two edges together. This works quite well in some places, not so well in other places, because inevitably uh, there, is, uh, there is some tension when sutures are placed and these recreate the condition that caused the hernia in the first place. But in some places and in some techniques, this works really well. The other is the mesh repair, where we use a synthetic material or more uh, recently, biological material to cover the defect. So you basically put a mesh covering all of this, reinforcing all around the hernia so that the hernia doesn't happen again. Frequently the mesh would incite uh, scar tissue to form so that the hernia doesn't arise again. As part of this procedure, all hernias are stitched prior to application of the mesh. Now the mesh can be placed either in the front, so let's assume that this is the abdominal wall in a cut section, this is the front, this is the defect, and this is the inside. So it can be, the mesh can be placed in the front. This is called the onlay technique. Or just within the gap is called the inlay technique. Or deep inside the abdominal wall, usually with another cover protecting it from the abdominal, uh, from the abdominal contents. That is called the sublay technique. Uh, in general, the results are better with sublay technique in incisional hernias, uh, but only technique is deployed uh, in other areas as well 
with just as much efficiency again so it depends on what type of hernia you have and where um, where it is as well as the surgeon's preference this concludes the brief video on understanding the principles of hernia repair